Hello everybody, this is Dozier Davis here, and today I wanted to make this little quick video about a Blu-ray that I ordered recently off of Disney Movie Insiders. Now, you might have heard about the whole Disney-Sony physical media deal that they did like a, like a couple months ago. They announced like a bunch of crap with Disney partnering with Sony and whatnot. But you also might have heard that because of it, Disney Movie Club is shutting down. However, I don't know how many people know about this, but if you're a member of Disney Movie Me Insiders, I don't know why I was going to say Disney Movie Members, it's called Disney Movie Insiders, um, you might have noticed that for each Wednesday that comes around in the month, which is what they call Wednesday, um, they've been basically dumping a whole bunch of Disney Movie Club exclusive titles. And I put that in quotation marks because there's a reason why it's in quotation marks. They're not really exclusive titles. Like, there's just, like, a bunch of exclusive slipcovers and whatnot. Like, there's, like, a Beauty and the Beast one with an alternate slipcover. That's just the 2016 Blu-ray in there. But, um, they do have a couple of semi-exclusive titles. Like, they have one of Pooh's Grand Adventure or whatnot. Um, but the majority of remaining stock from Disney Movie Club is basically getting dumped onto Disney Movie Insiders or Walmart to be honest like I think I've seen like a post where it was like a bunch of like Disney Movie Club slip covers being dumped at like a Walmart or something like that that's basically where Steelbooks are going to but um this is not about Steelbooks this is about Disney Movie Club and about my Blu-ray copy that's in here which is the Disney Movie Club exclusive slip cover release or, or, or the combo pack, I should be saying, of cars. Now, you might have not heard about this from me, unless you actually know me personally, but I am actually a huge fan of the Cars franchise. And the reason you might see that for me is because I have so many goddamn copies of the first movie. I like it. I love the first movie, like, so fucking much. It's like... I grew up with this movie, like, so fucking much when compared to the other Pixar movies. Like, n no kidding. Like, I grew up with, the, like, the other Pixar films and whatnot, but I had a stronger connection with Cars for whatever reason. Maybe that might be because, like, I don't know. I, I had this on, like, repeat, like, 24-7 or something like that. And maybe that's how I grew attached to it or something. I don't know. but Or maybe it's probably because I, like, own, like, a bunch of the old diecast or whatnot this one is new i got this recently but um i have a bunch more somewhere in my storage closet or something but yeah i grew up with the first movie a lot because that's the one i primarily grew up with oh and the second one i saw the second one in theaters believe it or not like that was like the first movie i saw in theaters i think it was cars 2 um but yeah i have a shit ton of copies of the first movie uh, i have it on a dvd here um this, which I, this is the first Blu-ray release of the film I ever got, and maybe one of the first Blu-rays I've ever gotten. This, which I got recently, um, for some odd reason. Um, the screener DVD, a later reprint of the 2007 Blu-ray, and the reason you can tell is because if you look on the inside, there's no artwork, when normally there is artwork. And there is a error correction right there. Usually that, if you have the original release, I think that should say something along the lines of English, French, and Spanish subtitles. When in reality, it's just English SDH. I don't know. There's some bizarre error. And I also have a couple of the bonus discs and whatnot. And then I also have a couple of uh, sealed copies here. I have this sealed. I got both of these out of Savers. And then there's also this sealed uh, seal book here from 2009, complete with the sticker intact. And then I also got this. This is how I upgraded the movie to 4K. I got this for Christmas. So, yeah. Don't try redeeming that code. I already redeemed it. So, yeah. Oh, and I also have this little disc that came from my friend. It's the open matte version of Cars, basically. So, yeah. You could definitely tell that I'm a big fan of the movie Cars. So, um, yeah. We're going to open this thing up here. I know there's supposed to be a little paper inside with an address. And I know that because of... If this isn't this isn't the first time I've ordered from them. If you're if you're familiar with uh my series Home Media History or whatnot, um you might have seen the video of me opening up the mystery Blu-ray title, which was uh Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure out of all things. Yeah. Actually, I still have that. 
Um, yeah, right there. And I got another one, too. I That's... Like, I've gotten multiple mystery Blu-ray and, and DVDs. Like, I got two duplicates of Chimpanzee. I got a copy of Finding Dory, Tinkerbell, and Lost Treasure. I also have one of Muppets Most Wanted right there. So, yeah. Mystery Blu-rays, <laughs> they're something, all right. But, yeah. I like knowing... Uh, I like knowing when I got... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I like knowing what I'm going to get. And I don't like getting movies that I don't want from Disney. Like, I'm actually super lucky that they haven't given me, like, an Air Buddy movie yet. <laughs> because, ah, uh, yeah. That's a whole other story for another day. I'm not really into, like, the Buddy movies and whatnot. So, yeah, well, let's get this over open with. Over with. I mean, sorry. I'm gonna try and open this up on camera. Trying to do this. See, like, there's this whole dotted thing right there. I'm trying to get it. Yeah. Oh, and there you go. You can actually kind of see it. You can kind of make out a little bit of the top, I think. I don't know. We'll find out once we actually pop this out. That's. This does have a slip cover. And I think the gods of this has a slip cover because, well. I wanted a slip cover for this. The only thing I'm wondering, though, is if this has the, you know, the Disney Movie Club sticker on it. See, there it is right there. And then, also got your little um, address sheet, which I'm not going to show that. And normally, at least the past couple of times I've ordered from them, they don't have the little, like, the Wednesday card. Like, Wednesday, that's what they usually call their Wednesday deals. So, yeah. Oh, and this does have the sticker. Good. This has this, this has the sticker. Disney Movie Club, nor magic, nor savings. This is something I wanted to see on this release. So, yeah. This is the uh, 2017 release. This was technically the secondary release of this. The first one was this one that, would, that you can order in stores, like at Walmart and whatnot. And it looks very similar to it, too. Like, if you compare it. Like, basically, this one has a black background. This one has a red background. It's basically the same thing, too. This one released on May 28th, 2017. And then this one... Um, this one doesn't say for whatever reason. November 7th, 2017. Okay, yeah. And as you can see, it is still sealed. So, yeah. And, we're of course, we are going to open this up on camera using my little fucking knife right here so we're just gonna open this up normally i don't open up these releases but i don't know i just want to open this up just because i like this movie and i just want to have a newer copy of this release without it being from here and from here which the dvd from this is inside here and the blu-ray from this is in here so yeah let's just open this up come on i poked a little hole in it i don't know why it's not opening ah there we go Taking the cell thing off. I'm probably going to regret opening this. But, I don't know. It might not be worth anything on the physical market. But, who knows? We'll see. Maybe I might get, like, another version of this one day. But, who knows? Alright. And then we open this up. Oh. Your tab is inside. There is your Blu-ray disc. Exactly the same. Your code, I already redeemed it, so don't try redeeming it yourself. And your DVD. So yeah, nothing much here. Although, I will be trying these discs out here in a moment. So, uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I think we should probably do that right now. Like, here, let me, uh, let me pop it into my PlayStation and whatnot. I have this TV right here. I will pop this out. Okay, there is nothing in the... Oh, yeah, there is something in there. Cars 3 do in a win. Ha ha ha. Very fun. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Cars 3 lately. So, yeah. Alright, so yeah, we'll be trying out the Blu-ray first. Fresh out of the thing. Oh, there's my face. Crap. Um, so yeah. I'll be turning on the PlayStation here. Just hold up one moment. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I w did not expect that to happen. I mean, I moved a couple of things around my room, so, yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. But, hey, at least that was the 2017 Blu-ray release of Cars. I finally have it in my collection, so, uh, yeah. Now I have to do filler until this stupid fucking check, um, just stops altogether. <laughs> Which won't take long now because it just stopped and it will probably um, it will probably go to the main menu here shortly. But who knows, right? But yeah, I'm actually really surprised that this still has the um, the Disney Movie Club sticker. I'm actually actually I'm a little bit shocked that this doesn't come with the Disney Movie Club uh, pamphlet inside. But I mean, I should have expected that. Um, this is a Movie Club exclusive. Why would they be advertising Movie Club with a Movie Club exclusive? Plus, it even says Movie Club on the little Disney Movie Reward point code. So, uh, yeah. Now the PlayStation logo is there. I hate having to have the Doom Filler. Like, come on. I get it. This is getting annoying. In fact, I might even want to cut this out, but who knows? All right. Here it goes. So here, there's the Blu-ray right there. As you can see, it is literally exactly the same as the Blu-ray that you get with all other versions of this movie, really. Like, the 4K has this disc, except, well, the difference is the disc that's in here has the previews intact, whereas the one in the 4K set that I showed you earlier, ding. <laughs> I, I don't know why they always play that ding there with the, when the language screen pops up. We're just going to go to the menu. Um, but um, this one has the previews intact. I don't know why I didn't play the previews and I just skipped in the menu, but who cares? You are still watching this video anyway, so ha ha ha. I just want to let this play. I like this menu, even though it's very basic. It's the basic location shot with a bar on the bottom type menu, see? But yeah, this is basically the Blu-ray of cars from 2013 in this set which I basically already own but hey at least I own a new copy of it so yeah that was the blu-ray but now we're gonna check the DVD which is the same as the uh, 2013 DVD as well which is not all that much different from the um the standard DVD release from like back in the day from 2006 the only thing they change is basically uh, the trailers that play in the beginning and you'll see that here in a second I just gotta wait a second I don't know what the hell this background screen is it's like these weird stars it's not something I chose um, it's I, I'm not saying it looks bad or anything like that it's just it's just <laughs> I don't know what my brother was thinking because this used to be my brother's PlayStation and I'm just using it now because he owns an Xbox Series X now. And it's often really annoying. Alright, let's go to the main menu. Menu. We're going to menu. And you're going to see the iconic uh, DVD menu animation. See? So see, this is exactly the same as the original DVD that I have, except of course they changed the sneak peeks and it doesn't have a menu. It just has a bunch of like Disney Movie Club ads and whatnot. Um, yeah, there's a trailer for Frozen, a trailer for Jungle Book, and a trailer for Planes. I think there was a trailer for like Monsters University on there too. Yeah. And surprisingly, believe it or not, this still has the THX stuff on there. You'll see it here in a second. Like, look at this. There's no THX, like, certification thing on the back, and yet it's still on the disc. So, <laughs> very hilarious, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. That was my new Blu-ray copy of Cars that I ordered from Disney Movie Insiders. If you're looking to get, like, a copy of this... I, come on. Stop. I know you want to fix things, but come on. Sorry. 
I know that's my favorite THX trailer, but again, I don't want sound playing while I'm talking. But um, if you're if you're wanting to get like these Disney Movie Club exclusive titles for free, like if you like not having to pay for these or whatnot, I guess become a Disney Movie Insider like member by like signing up and whatever, and then you can get one of these for free just by getting the points. If you have like unredeemed points like this one that I, that I obviously uh, redeemed before I uploaded this video, but um, yeah. That was the uh, 2017 Blu-ray release of Cars from Disney Movie Club. I am very much happy with my uh, order. So, um, yeah, I will definitely be looking forward to having this in my collection, even though it is literally the same discs that I already owned before. <laughs> but, yeah, no regrets. No regrets. Anyways, this is Dozer Davis signing off. I am going to work on another video now on my DVD of The Mask whenever that arrives at my house. So, yeah. See you all later. I'm going to work on that now. See ya.